Hi, I'm Bruce Ralston, Minister of Energy, Mines and Low Carbon Innovation for British Columbia, Canada's westernmost province. Here in British Columbia, we're blessed with abundant natural resources, including gold and copper deposits throughout. BC is well positioned for the transition to a low carbon economy as we maintain our high environmental, social and governance standards. Our mining sector has some of the cleanest operations in the world, due in part to our province's clean, renewable hydroelectricity and the high level of industry innovation. This industry remains the largest private sector employer of Indigenous peoples in Canada providing economic opportunities for rural and remote communities while advancing reconciliation. BC's mining sector provides the responsibly sourced minerals and metals needed for the growth of emerging technologies such as electric cars, wind turbines, and the transit systems the world will need to fight climate change. We're a critical part of the global supply chain and we're constantly improving on our world-leading ESG standards. That's why we're working to create a system in which our BC mines can easily share their emissions data with investors and buyers. This will provide BC mines and exploration companies with a significant advantage in terms of branding our metals and minerals to global ESG investors. I'm pleased to share with you the work we have done here in British Columbia on the Mines Digital Trust ecosystem. My name is Nate Eamon Blake and I'm an Assistant Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Energy Mines Low Carbon Innovation in the province of BC, Canada. I'm excited to be introducing this interoperability demonstration of BC's Mines Digital Trust ecosystem. In this demonstration, we are showcasing one particular use case that will be of interest to the COP26 audience. Namely, how with a few mouse clicks and keystrokes, a government issued operating permit and carbon emissions data from a mine on the Pacific coast of Canada can scale into the global carbon accounting platform being pioneered by the Open Earth Foundation through the use of open source technology called Hyperledger Ares. We've chosen this technology as the means for information sharing because it's highly transparent, it's secure, tamper-proof and immutable. In BC, we have strong climate legislation. BC implemented North America's first carbon tax and we've committed to 40% reduction of 2007 GHG emissions by 2030. BC is the first province in Canada to set GHG emission reduction targets and mandatory reporting for major sectors of the provincial economy, which has resulted in government-held data about the emissions performance of our industries. In the following demonstration, you'll first see the province making a secure connection with the IBM digital wallet of Copper Mountain Mine located in Princeton, BC. This will follow with the issuance of a permit and GHG emissions data. This includes carbon intensity, scope one and scope two data. This is the start of the supply chain tracing journey. The information can be amended, say if a permit is revoked or invalidated, but a transaction history will always remain in the system, thus validating the origin of the data. In this demo, the Government of British Columbia will issue an emissions profile credential from their digital wallet, on the left, to Copper Mountain Mine's wallet, on the right. First, Copper Mountain Mine and the Government of British Columbia need to make a secure connection between their digital wallets. Copper Mountain Mine then asks the Government of British Columbia to issue them the 2020 emissions profile credential for their facility. The government of BC sees that the 2020 emissions profile credential is being asked for and they are ready to issue it. On the secure connections page, they click on Copper Mountain Mine. They start the credential issuing process and select the credential to be issued. Upon clicking submit, the data contents are checked for errors and the emissions profile credential is issued to Copper Mountain Mine. Copper Mountain Mine sees the notification clicks on the credential to review its details, then accepts it. It now shows this new credential in their wallet. At any time now, they can click on it to inspect the details and add a label for it. With this credential, Copper Mountain Mine now has the ability to provide proof upon request to its other secure connections. The next step is the linkage between Copper Mountain Mine's IBM digital wallet and the Open Earth Integrated Carbon Data Accounting System which is called Open Climate. Because of the tamper-proof cryptography of the credential, 
Open Earth does not need to check back with the government of BC about the trustworthiness of the information. This screen shows the login process. The Open Climate Portal is asking the authorized representative of Copper Mountain Mine to provide their login credential. It's being done using a QR code. Because it's using the same digital trust network and the BC government is a trust provider, the user from Copper Mountain Mine can scan the credential and log into the Open Climate System. Copper Mountain Mine presents a proof showing that the BC government has issued them an emissions profile. Upon logging in, the system will detect the information that comes with the Copper Mountain Mine's credential, namely the GHG emissions report, where the mine is registered and from which facility it comes from. The Copper Mountain Mine user is asked by the Open Climate System to confirm the import of the climate credentials. The Copper Mountain Mine user gets to decide whether their data can be stored, used, and disclosed in Open Earth's platform. Once the Copper Mountain Mine user has confirmed they want to import their data into the Open Earth network, they are taken to the Open Climate Portal launch page. From there, they can go to the Copper Mountain Mine profile, which shows the specific mine for which they have submitted information and the emissions credential itself. The Open Climate System allows users to understand how the actions they take to reduce emissions have an impact on a regional, national, and global level. This screen shows Copper Mountain Mine's emissions inventory in map view. This screen shows Copper Mountain Mine's emissions inventory, as well as illustrative trades and transfers, and how these scale up to a global emissions calculation. In the credential box, on the bottom right of the screen, you'll see the emissions credentials issued by the government of BC, which have been transferred via Copper Mountain Mine's IBM digital wallet, and are now nested into a regional, national, and global carbon accounting system. What makes the Mine's digital trust ecosystem unique is our commitment to interoperability, traceability, and open source technology. In essence, we see this digital ecosystem as a public good. The technology will enable our business community, auditors, third-party verifiers to leverage government-held regulatory data and contribute credentials to meet the global market's demand for transparency and trust. In the coming year, we will continue to advance the interoperability of the Mines Digital Trust so companies can choose whichever wallet solution they wish and still be able to participate in the digital trust ecosystem. At the other end, consumers and investors can determine what credentials are important and who they trust to issue them. And finally, we're excited to continue to contribute to the ambitious work of the Open Earth Foundation and the UN Global Innovation Hub in exploring how to understand and transparently track the carbon footprint of our consumer products, company commitments, and jurisdictional reporting. Please join us on that journey. <laughs>